Use synthetic division to perform the division. We have nine, negative 9x cubed plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. So here's our problem. And the first thing we want to do is we want to determine what is the value of k. Well, we can see here that the denominator is in the form of x minus 2. And so therefore, k is going to represent 2. So, so far we have the first part of our synthetic division. Okay, now over here we have negative 9x cubed plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 2. And therefore that's representing our dividend. And what we want to do is we want to write them as leading coefficients. So we have negative 9, we have plus 7, we have minus 8, and then we have plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring down the negative 9. And 2 times negative 9 is going to give us negative 18. Negative 18 plus 7 is going to give us negative 11. And negative 11 times 2 is going to give us negative 22. Negative 22 minus 8 is going to give us negative 30. 2 times negative 30 is going to give us negative 60. And therefore we get negative 60 plus 2, which gives us negative 58. Okay, so as we stated before, since a divisor x minus k has a degree of 1, the degree of the quotient will always be 1 less than the degree of the polynomial to be divided. So therefore, this is going to be negative 9x squared minus 11x minus 30 with a remainder of negative 58. So when we write our answer, it's going to be the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor when we have a remainder left over. So x minus 2 represents our divisor this represents our quotient, and then negative 58 represents our remainder. So what we would do is write the quotient, which is negative 9x squared minus 11x minus 30, plus the remainder, which is negative 58, divided by the divisor, which is x minus 2. And therefore, that's our answer. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So we got negative 9x squared minus 11x. So we have negative 9x squared minus 11x. And that was minus 30. And then we're going to put plus, and then we're going to hit the fraction bar. And we have a remainder of negative 58. So we have negative 58, and divided by the divisor, which is x minus 2. So we have x minus 2. Let's check our answer, and there's our result.